You know, the thing is that there was nothing wrong with what she was saying. But the major thing here is that by what she was saying, she was making gain for her masters. So the issue is not even between her and them. The issue is who is gaining from this process. The issue is not that you are sick. The issue is not that you are not married. The issue I am asking, by your lack of marriage, who is making gain? You know, let me tell you something. The men who are making the gain are not seen. They are not seen. We didn't know the men, but what we knew was what was the representation. There were men who were making the game, who would sit back, sit over their champagne, smile how your destiny is wasted. Sometimes you don't even know where it's coming from. When something has happened more than once, pay, pay attention to it. I, I was saying to someone a few days ago, I said, if anybody dies prematurely in your house, you know that there's one person who has died prematurely. I said, anytime you hear this prayer on NSPP, I say, oh, I say, be the first to jump. Anything the devil does once, he wants to do it again. So my question is, who are these men? Where are they? Who are these men that want to make gain by my tears? A young man was saying to me a few days ago, and he sent a message, and he said to me, Pastor, I used to be part of, only God knows what they are part of, you know? And he said, my assignment was to make sure that the women in a particular place never get pregnant. She doesn't have to know the women. She doesn't have to know the... Let me tell you something. I do not stand corrected. You know how people want to start that talk to say, I stand corrected. Eh? I don't stand corrected. The way cancer is proliferating, me, I feel like there are new demons that have been assigned everywhere you go to. Everybody seems to be having cancer here, cancer here, cancer here. Even small, small children that have not done anything. You see, this is the way mothers or family members will be running with their cancer patients up and down. The question is, who are the men that are gaining from this wickedness? Anyway, let me finish my story. So after a while, he got delivered. He's now a Christian and all of that. So he's been married for 10 years and his wife doesn't have a child. So, and uh, I, I bless God that he's married. But what I couldn't take over, I'll take off from my mind is that somebody in the midst of that wickedness he's doing must have packaged that that he was doing for all other people and sent it back to him so that he can eat what he's doing. You are looking at this situation. But that's not where it comes. Who are the men? These men can be territorial spirits. But let me even shock you. These men can be human beings. At the sound of your amen. Any man, whether physical or spiritual, staying in any corner, facilitating evil, saying you will not have peace of mind, saying that this battle will not end. At the sound of your amen. I announce, let it be terminated by fire. Anyone they have packaged to your family, to your business, to your career, we gather it and return it back to them. Back your generation. Let your image on that.